Okay, let's just let's just fucking throw a glow stick. All right, we're good. Oh, that must be an enemy above ground. Check this shit out. Oh no, this is this is just well, uh, this is an absence of a uh, fucking background. Are we that close to the surface? No, we could be that close to the surface, could we? You know, I guess in hindsight, when you think about it, if you were digging, you didn't need you wouldn't even need torches. All you would need is a um a hammer. Yeah, that's that's daylight. That's a fucking. That's a worm. That's not the good kind of worm. That's a fucking wreck your asshole kind of worm. That had hearts in it. That was nice. It knew how bad that worm wrecked me. I'm trying to listen for it. Yeah, I'm using a fucking copper sword. I'm not gonna win this fight. I better just get the hell out. Yeah, there's no getting away from that thing. Now I might as well just keep going. Son of a... There you go, okay. Oh, shit. Let me just, like, rope. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, that's deep. Let me rope. And then I jump down. I guess it's just... I guess it was kind of reassurance that I could get back out. Alright, let's see. So we got a jellyfish. So that shit's nice. It's always nice, I guess. Got a lesser healing potion. That's always nice. Uh, let's see. Let me try and, like, approach this, um, this jellyfish from more of an angle here. That I can actually withstand. Oh, shit! Okay, nope, nope, nope. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me, bitch. Come at me, bitch! These guys drop uh, glow sticks, by the way, which are pretty much the only way to see underwater, unless you have, like, a night vision potion. Ho! Oh, missed me, bitch! How the fuck are you back on the right already? Damn, you looped underneath me that quick. Okay. Deploying glow stick! No, shit. I said deploying glow stick. There we go. Uh, there's a pot down there. Might as well grab it. Ow, fuck you. What's this? Iron. Sweet. I'll take it. This is not the time to lag. Okay, there we go. No, not don't, don't go down, you dumb fuck. Go up. Okay, there we go. I insult my own character more than anything else. Like when I'm playing a game. I'll insult my own character more than any other character. Like my own character is always the moron. It's never anyone else. Except for when I'm playing Zelda. Then just every other character is an idiot except for Link. Alright, I think that's enough adventure for right now. We didn't really find anything, I mean, like worthwhile, but... Do we, do we really need to? Is that is that really our objective here, or is that just what we imagine our fuck? Is, this, is that really, what, is, or is that just what we imagine our objective is? I stutter like a total dumbass, and I'm so sorry for that. I'm sure that must be like unbearable to listen to. Oh shit! Okay. How did you? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I just about got wrecked there. Oh god, I'm still getting wrecked. I'm still getting wrecked. No, God, please, no. No, 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 Dude, this fuck, I told you this lag was gonna get me killed, man. Me fighting bosses and shit, and this lag's gonna happen. It's just gonna totally screw me over. Alright, so I could dig straight up. And that's, that's not ever, you know, a cause for concern in Terraria. Because I don't think this... Well, I mean, the sand could actually instantly kill me. It would just take one block, but we're not beneath a desert, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. There's none of that bullshit random sand. Um, let's just... Uh, let's bridge over. There we go. 
Alright, this works. And then we'll just put another torch up here. See, y'all fools never. Also, uh, those of you that know me in real life know I'm, I'm kind of a real, I'm a real anime kind of guy. Uh, I started watching the anime Hunter x Hunter recently. It's pretty damn good, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, it's entertaining so far. And uh, I know Wolfie warned me that it was going to be like, like it seems cute and shit, and then you really get into it and it's really gory. But I need to point out to her and everyone else who would warn me the same that I have watched Higurashi. And believe me, when I say that if you have seen Higurashi, no adorable anime goes without being questioned ever again. I watch stuff like, um, if you've ever seen uh, Nishijo, really popular slice of life. I watched that and I was just like, I was so traumatized from um, Higurashi that I was just waiting for the death. I was waiting for shit to all go south and it just, it never happened. But needless to say that like, animes like that kind of ruin my perception of cutesy animes. Like it just, it ruins them. I can no longer look at stuff that's adorable the same way, because without expecting it to just die horribly. Totally unrelated news, I would totally recommend uh, Higurashi. Great anime. <laughs> no. But seriously, uh, the second season so far has been pretty great. Because you actually understand what the hell's going on. Which if you're like me, if you watched it, just watch the first season or if you read the visual novel, you have no fucking clue what's going on. Or maybe the, um, maybe the anime is, like, maybe it has its own plot line. Because you gotta remember, it's based on a visual novel. This is making no sense to, like, 95% of you, but you have to remember it's based on a visual novel. Where there are multiple choices and shit like that. So, like, really and truly, you know, maybe they made the whole multi-universe shit up in the anime just to kind of cover all the different possibility, you know, all the different possible endings. I could just be spouting stuff out of my ass right now. I don't really know. This is just, these are my thoughts. This is what I think. This is what happens when I get alone and I'm left alone. I just, I have thoughts and thinks and things galore. I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Turning into Dr. Seuss over here. So, how's it doing? How are you going? How much money did we wind up getting out of that trip? Four silver. Well, shit, I was hoping to get a lot more than that. Only you do. But anyways. Used up quite a few torches. But yeah, it's just, you know, that's, those are my thoughts and shit like that on things. Uh, I thought about starting an anime channel. And also, <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I don't want to pull a Tobuscus and start, like, four different channels. But I feel like I don't want to have just all of my stuff on one channel. Like, I don't want to do anime stuff and video game stuff and creepypasta readings all on one channel. I don't, I don't feel like that would go well. Pardon. But I don't actually know. You know that's, that's not for me to judge. That's, that's for me to watch and see how it goes. Or I guess it is for me to judge, but it's not for me to decide. I mean, really and truly, when it comes down to it, the viewers, you guys, decide what I do with my channel, because if I do something you don't like, you leave. I have no channel anymore, then. So, I kind of have to do shit you guys would like, but at the same time, I'm also going to do stuff that I would like as well. So, you know, it's, it's finding that middle ground between your viewers and you, which you have to start early at doing what you want to do, that way you have the audience that likes the things you like. I'm going the fuck on about something that I know nothing about. I have 43 subscribers. Don't listen to me. Listen to bigger people. People with millions, okay? It's just not, not me. I, I don't want to ruin your career before it starts. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm awful. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been babbling on now for the past fucking 20 minutes about, I don't know. This is what happens when I'm alone. This is, this, this is me. This is what I talk about. I hope you like it. Anyways, uh, what should we do? I really don't know what to do. 
we don't really have anything worth doing right now. Um, shit. I guess we could start finding trees and shit to um to build houses. Because we're going to need more houses when we eventually do get more NPCs. Eventually, someday. <laughs> when I fucking have enough money. There's two zombies there, aren't there? Nah, fuck that. That's not happening. I'm not doing that. But... I, I don't know. I, fucking, I've been going on and on, and I, I, haven't, like, I haven't even been listening to what I've been saying. I've just been talking endlessly. And just spewing absolute nonsense. Like always. I don't know, this, this is the commentary that comes along with me being solo, so I hope you guys, I hope you enjoy this. Like, I, I really do write you, because really and truly, I just, I mainly do Terraria for you, unless other people begin to like it as well, because you're the first person to tell me that you liked my solo series. Well, I mean, th this solo series. I, I mean, I even had a, it may have just been because I was playing their map, but I even had a Dov105 and Zettobyte said that they liked my uh, Puzzle Layer series. Speaking of which, uh, if you guys are still watching, which I really doubt, but if you guys are nice enough to continue to watch my stuff even afterward, um, I, I, if you don't mind like telling me if you're working on a new map, you know the progress you're making on it. I, you know, I love you guys' maps, so I'm happy to play another one. Uh, I mean, I love to support map makers because I always wanted to make maps and shit, <laughs> and I just I never buckled down and actually got serious about it. I made plenty on Xbox, but you know, that's, that's Xbox. Talking about Minecraft and Terraria. Most professional. Only the most professional here at Butterman59. But yeah, it's just... I want to do another Minecraft map solo. I was thinking about doing that actually, maybe here later, if I have enough time. Uh, if not, I'll do it tomorrow, or I don't know. Because tomorrow is Monday. Or at least as of recording, tomorrow will be Monday. Uh, for me, two more days of school. I mean, I, I said that that was going to be it after last week. And I I was talked into going back for two more days. Thanks a lot, Andre. But, um... Oh my god. My cousin's home. That's great, my cousin's home. The loudest little thing that ever existed. And we love him anyway. But yeah. While we wait for this... God forsaken, never ending night to be over. Can I get that from here? I can, yes! Yeah. Oh, hey, night's finally over too. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna make me a mana crystal. Because I need one of those, right? There we go. Now I have extra mana. I don't even need mana. <laughs> I don't have a staff to use it with. Anyways, uh, let's see. Anybody, uh, anybody out in the audience have any little cousins or something like that, or brothers, like brothers, sisters, or cousins, or anyone related to you in general that's like less than four years old? Because they are, dude, they are, they are priceless. They are, they, they are so much fun to have around, and then, and then they get to that mind phase, and it's just like, nope. <laughs> No, you, 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 you can stay home next family reunion. But um, now in all seriousness, uh, love your family. Look at me, I'm spreading good messages, and I'm not even a Christian. Whoopee! But no, in all seriousness, uh, I mean you're. In all seriousness, my views on family are: you're born into it, so therefore you don't have to love your family. Or at least you have to for the first 18 years, and then you can just totally ignore them if you like. Because, you know, you don't have to live with them anymore, but... It's the people that you choose to keep around that really, really matter. Because while your family, they love you, they take care of you, if it weren't for your friends, you would just be a sad, lonely little hermit who had his family, and only his family, or her family, depending on who's watching. So, I mean, it's just, like, you can treat your family better than a lot of people and I'm okay with that but to treat your family better than your friends or vice versa is just it's not okay like you have to, you have to treat everyone that's important to you in your life as equals 
because they're equally, or, I mean, maybe they're not equally as important to you, but still, everyone who is important to you should be. You should see everybody is equal. I'm sounding like a fucking political person, right? I need to shut the hell up. Point being, though, family. Long story short, missed. But yeah. Oh yeah, recently I became a fan of the Game Grumps, so if anybody wants to talk about that, that's cool. I like, uh, I like, uh, uh, fuck, I can't remember his, I can't remember his name. I just started watching them. It's, uh, I think it's Ego Raptor, whatever his name is. They're pretty cool. I can see why they're Mark's favorite, uh, YouTubers. <sighs> this is all, this is all me by myself is ever gonna be, is just talking about how laggy the game is. And talk, and just going into big, accidentally going into big political talks and shit. I'm not, I'm not even a political person. I think politics at this point has just gotten redundant. I think it's, I think it's just gotten kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's Donald Trump is, you know, please do not, do not like just destroy my anus for talking about Donald Trump. I, this is not meant negatively. Well, depending on what I say, I don't know how it could be intended positively, but. This isn't intended completely negatively. It's just Donald Trump has turned the capital into the world's biggest slap bite. Like, no one is actually taking politics seriously anymore. And for some of you, you're saying, that's good. You know, there's a lot of idiots out there who would just screw it up. And, you know, that's that's fine if that's what you think. Go ahead. But I just, I personally think that politics is just, for lack of a better word, stupid now. And you can hate me all you want. I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm used to hate, but I just, I, I don't think politics is that good anymore. It's just, back when it actually, really? But back when it was actually, like, politics, and not like, like I said, like a big slap fight up at, uh, up at Capitol Hill up there, or whatever the fuck it is, I mean, it was like, it was decent then. It, it made sense, and I could, I could follow some of the, the points they were making. <laughs> But brother, let me tell you, here comes, uh, here comes Donald J. Trump talking about how big his dick is. <laughs> and let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm not saying that's bad <laughs> because they get too serious up there. They get, they forget that they're, and this is going to sound stupid again, they're getting too serious because they're forgetting that they're trying to run a country. And I know, I know, that, that sounds stupid because, you know, you want to be serious when you run a country, right? Well, I mean, it's like, normally, but you forget ours is a country of freedom and happiness and shit like that. And if you're, if you're too serious when you run this country, you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna fuck it all up. Okay, you're gonna, I don't know. There needs to be like a third party for people that don't give a fuck. Because I, I would join that shit. Like, the, <laughs> instead of a president, we just get no one. <laughs> it's just, it's Congress and the House of Senators. That's it. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> I don't know. My my views on government are absolutely fucking retarded. Please ignore me. I'm so sorry. Please don't 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 be butt hurt and shit like that. Wait, did I die? Oh me. Oh yeah yeah. That's where they were in the game. Yeah. Please don't like rip me a new anus because of things I've said. I I babble on like an idiot constantly, and I have no fucking clue what I'm saying even so. I hope this has been, like, entertaining commentary. I've just been fucking talking about politics. I literally, I said, I, I should try not to talk about politics as much. And then that got me on the subject of politics. Ooh, gold grasshopper. Get in my house. You're staying here. Forever. You're stuck here. But yeah, it's, um... <laughs> don't ever ask me how I feel about politics. I don't, I don't have any feelings, really. In general, but especially about politics. I don't, I don't, I don't care for politics.